Sakurai actually did drop a video and he was just basically saying that he actually has a really great like relationship with Nintendo. It's just no tension at all. Basically the quote was, they place a great deal of trust in me so there's almost never tension over differences of opinions. I feel like anybody that has played Smash knows that it's what Sakurai wants. Like this is exactly what he wants in that game. So they continued on to say, I'll be surprised if he isn't heavily involved in the next Smash Bros game, Switch's successor. I don't think anybody ever thought that. I'm gonna let you guys know that right now. We already understand how big this man is for this game. I can't think of Smash continuing on without Sakurai. Like, would that ever be a thing? Like, do you think that it would be possible for Smash to continue on without him? Now, I will say that like, yes, they, they can let go of that internet and hopefully fix that up by like getting that up to date. But I just think that nobody else compares to 